Good morning, boys and girls. Patton here. All right, so today I'm going to show you guys how to put custom borders into your SNES Classic to use with your games. Um, this tutorial is going to be just a little bit more advanced, just a tiny notch up from regular because we have to have a separate program to write the files to the SNES Classic. So I'm going to put all the download links you need in the description. I'm also going to put all the um, folder addresses in the description so as you're listening to the video um, if you want to pause look at the description to fo follow along you can do that it's actually really easy to do this as long as you follow this step by step so first thing you need to do you have to have your modded SNES you've already dumped your custom kernel you've added everything you want um, this isn't actually a modular installing it's just writing files to the SNES classic and we're not going to be using Hackchi all that much. Um, all you need to do in Hackchi, as you can see, I've, I've got the latest version. Um, you're going to go to Tools. You can see an option here for FTP Server. Make sure that's checked, and you may get a window um, saying that it needs it. This has to be checked to have FTP access. You're going to want to download the custom covers that I have in the description. It's going to be this, this folder right here, Drive Download, something or other like that. I just kept it like that just so it's easy because I'm sure you don't have a, a file like that. I'd keep it on your desktop just to make it easier. So now you're going to do download a program called FileZilla. It's an FTP program. It's going to allow you to transfer the files from your, from your PC to the SNES Classic. So let's open up. So after you've downloaded FileZilla, we're going to open it up. It's going to look something like this. I've kind of altered it. I moved this box, you know, up as much as I could. You can see here we're not connected to any server. Over here we have our desktop. So here's our drive download folder that we downloaded with all the custom borders. It's going to look like this. And I'm going to point this file out now. This one right here, P8173, um, I guess this is own background maybe, OWNBGS. This is very important. We have to move this to the SNES Classic before anything else. So we have our program open. We have Hackchi open. This is how you're going to connect to the SNES Classic. Up in host, you're going to put the numbers 127.0.0.1 port 1021. Username is root. Password is clover. This is the file system. It's actually really easy. So real quick, the steps you have to do. Hack G. Make sure this is checked. Make sure your SNES Classic is turned on and plugged into your computer. You're going to transfer the important file to that folder I told you before. You're going to back up your backgrounds file. Extract a few folders to put in that backgrounds file then move that backgrounds file into the SNES Classic. So we're all done here. I'll meet you over at the SNES Classic to see how everything turned out.
Okay, so I forgot to mention, before you head back to your SNES Classic, you have to power cycle it once. Turn it off, till the light goes off, turn it back on, and then everything will be saved. So now here we are, back at my SNES Classic. Uh, let's see, how about we go to Super Nintendo game, since that's, that'll, we know that'll work with the, the backgrounds. Um, Earthbound is one of my personal favorites, so let's take a look at that. Let's go up toward display, these frames. Let's pick a frame. Look at these new custom frames we got. We have the Secret of Mana, Zelda, and this Super Nintendo frame. So I think that looks like the background to the European SNES Classic. So there you go. It's that easy. Um, this should work with all your SNES games. Yeah, that was it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And then, um, you know, oh, what, what's the thing that I got to do? Like, share, uh, subscribe, tell your friends, do your chores, get plenty of sleep, brush your teeth. So if you guys want to get in touch with me outside of the YouTube comments, you can feel free to follow my Twitter, at Patton Place. Or if you have any questions, uh, you can email me at my Gmail account, patentplaysgames at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time.